did mention that uh, obviously surgery is commonly used as part of a patient's treatment plan. Um, how does radiation work then with surgery? So typically radiation is the last treatment that, mm -hmm. we, that, that a patient receives. So, so most commonly the patient will have a lumpectomy, removal of the nodule and sampling of the sentinel lymph nodes which are the lymph, lymph nodes that would first receive cancer spread if it were to happen and, and so that surgery is done. Then a recommendation would be made to receive or not to receive chemotherapy. If, if a patient receives chemotherapy that happens first and then radiation comes at the tail end of this treatment. All right, I've heard of external radiation and internal mm. radiation. Can you break those two down for us? So internal radiation is basically, the brachytherapy is an example of internal radiation. It's placing a catheter inside the breast or inside the cavity which was left behind uh, uh, after removing the cancer, there's a cavity. We place a catheter inside that cavity and do internal radiation. That's a type of internal radiation. Okay. Brachytherapy. External radiation is the description of any form of radiation coming from the outside. So that applies to, to X-ray radiation or proton radiation, which is a particle.